Hi guys, it's Friday. How's everybody doing? It's Friday, guys. How you doing, guys? Finally, the week is over. It's been a long week. It's been a tiring week with the U.S inauguration so I said let me just jump on a live and see how everybody's doing how the week is and just or how the week was and just you know share a few things that I've been uh, actually thinking about it's payday Friday yes it is yes it is This is my bottle, guys, use every day. So my goal every day is to finish two of these bottles. I think it's about, I think it's about a liter, 1.5 liters. So I drink two of this every day because water is good for you. Hi guys, hi. Um, guys, you can put some questions here. I'll answer it for you. How was 430 NASDAQ? So it was good. It was a buy. It was a clear buy. Um, I took some profits on that. Ended the week on a high. They also gave the direction on our NASDAQ signals group. So the guys ate there as well as students as well. So guys, you know, currently we are on a high because we are on a good winning streak. We've been taking good trades. I've been taking good trades. And, uh, you know, things have been going well. But at the same time, you know, I am, uh, I am cautious that not everybody, not things are not going well for everybody. Uh, so I'm just here to encourage you guys today uh, that there is light at the end of the tunnel. All is not over. And, uh, you know, the best is always yet to come. Uh, you know, guys. So I just want to encourage you guys uh, today and you know one of the reasons why I'm jumping on this live today guys everybody's asking questions about 430 do you only trade two times a day I trade about three to four times uh, sometimes I post um, uh, my signals on the group uh, high risk signals during the day uh, and uh, we just go with it we just go with it you know uh, so just questions are just piling in So guys, so you know one of the things I want to share guys is uh, materialism, okay, there's about 320 people on this live, uh, welcome to everybody who's joining in. I don't have a YouTube channel but it's uh, launching soon. Brother, do you teach the strategy? Yes, I do teach my NASDAQ strategy, I do, I do definitely teach it. Is 22,000 that enough to trade NASDAQ? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Can you please explain? Okay, now why did the time shift from 3.30 to 4.30 NASDAQ? Okay, why did we start trading the NASDAQ? This is a common question, I think. Let me just address it here. So the reason why we've done this is because in the US, there's something called daylight saving, okay? So what happened basically in daylight saving? I think last year, uh, towards the end of last year, I can't remember the month, uh, the US uh, moved one year later, uh, sorry, one hour later in time because of the daylight savings. So I think it's something to do with winter or whatever it is. But anyway, uh, trading comes back to to 3.30 on in March. So I think I think it's the 12th of March sometime, sometime around there where trading will come back to 3.30. Right now it's at 4.30. Uh, it makes no difference. It's just that the NYSE open now opens uh, an hour later for us in South Africa, but it's still opening at 9.30 a.m. in the morning in the U.S. Uh, but it's just because of the daylight saving uh, that the U.S. clock has shifted one hour later. 
So therefore, it affected us one hour later, but it's actually the same time um, um, in the US, which is 9.30 NYS AC open, but it's now 4.30 for us instead of 3.30. And this is just a periodic thing that happens because of daylight saving, it, it doesn't affect the markets in any way. Uh, guys, I know there's a lot of fake uh, accounts going around um, posing to be me and scamming people. Guys, you need to be wary. I have asked Instagram to verify me. I, I have uploaded the documents. I'm waiting to be verified. I'm not sure this is going to take, uh, how long it's going to take. But guys, you need to be vigilant. Uh, you know, um, if you if you scrolling through somebody's profile, see when they first, first post was. Like, I think my Instagram goes back all the way to 2013 or 2014. So you will be able to see that, you know, I have Instagram for a long period of time. But these scam accounts, you'll see that they have Instagram for a month or two months. And, and they basically, they've got 10,000 followers because they're buying followers, guys. A lot of people are buying followers and that's not the right thing to scam people and uh, all of those things. Do a quick analysis for us. So analysis, guys, is done on Sunday evenings and throughout the, throughout the week on Fridays. Friday afternoon, I really don't do her analysis. Man takes care of his people. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah, yes, I do have a lot of followers and that's totally organic uh, growth. But you see guys with these fake Instagram accounts, uh, they buy followers. They buy followers, but you see the reactions uh, and interactions. On my Instagram, for a, for a month, I get about 6 million interactions on my Instagram. Uh, I'll even screenshot it and send it, put it on Inst Instagram story. But these guys will see that they'll have no interactions. It's just all dead followers. So yeah. Broker for your signals group. You can use Globex. You can use any broker you want, guys. Uh, I'm not biased towards a broker. Use which broker. Uh, you comfortable with I'm not related to Jason Noah uh, in any way I'm not I'm Joash Naidu so I'm not uh, related to him how long did it did you trade well I've been trading for six years first three years failed miserably lost a lot of money gave up was it the point of giving up on life taking my life I've been through all of that guys I've been through that 390 people on this uh, on this uh, on this live here guys I've been through the Merwood trading you know uh, I, I've been down and out of blown accounts you know guys the reason why I like doing lives on Friday is be because Friday is a day that humbles me okay uh, and uh, why it humbles me is it's because uh, I, I remember I used to make profits during the week okay I used to make profits during the week and then I used to come to Friday and I get greedy. I think, okay, I've made 5,000 rand for the week on Friday, I'm gonna double my account. And I used to blow my accounts on Friday because of greed. On most Fridays previously when I started trading and like the first year and second year, and even the third year, I used to blow my accounts. So that is why, you know, Fridays are the days that humble me because I remember how you can work. And I'm brought to the fact how I should work the whole week trading and then on Friday, I used to blow my account. So Fridays are really days that humble me, guys. It really is days that humble me. I, I'm not a big shot. Uh, I'm an ordinary person. And I'm just trying to show everybody what can happen to you if you work hard, if you're consistent, and if you just keep on pushing. If, if you respect the market, the market will respect you and the market will pay you. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a big shot. Uh, I'm just an ordinary person. I'm like every other person. We have the same blood that flows through our body. Uh, we do the same things. We eat the same food. Guys, one thing I want to mention, guys, there's 463 people. Thank you, everybody. Guys, the, the, what I wanted to speak about and then I just uh, veered off it is, guys, materialism, materialistic uh, thoughts or materialism is one of the biggest shortfalls of us as traders and as people in general. You see, we 
We are too materialistic that we we miss out on the bigger picture of life. Guys, I want to mention this. Whether you are driving a Toyota or whether you are driving a Lamborghini, you're still going to reach the same destination. It doesn't matter what car you use in or what car you drive in. Whether you are using a Rolex or whether you are using a Hallmark watch or Casio watch, it doesn't matter because it will tell you the same time. Whether you are f- whether you are flying business class or whether you are flying a uh, normal commercial class whether you are traveling in a bus or whether you are flying you are going to still reach the same des- destination if i jump in a bus now in fr- from durban to joburg i'll still reach johannesburg and if i fly from here to durban to johannesburg i'll still reach there you get me so guys don't be realist uh, sorry don't be materialistic you need to be realistic you know and that's something that i want to share and share and share and share over and over again as long as you know me as long as i'm alive that's what i want to speak okay i don't want to speak about anything else it's stop being materialistic guys don't think because people have nice things that they rich If you want to uh, measure your amount of riches look at the people around you look at your family around you you know how you know you're rich guys it's not the money in your bank account it's not your fancy cars it's not the house you live in it's it's not it's not all of the good things you have lose everything lose everything and see who is around you see who is next to you you see if i lose everything guys i know i'm still